Let's say you've got a 747, a perfectly good, if slightly aging, wide body jet. This 747 is 40 years old. NASA has owned it for 20 of those years. And if you can make out at the back there behind the wing, sometime in that period, they decided it would be a really good idea to cut a 16 by 23 foot hole into the plane. It's not just any old hole in the fuselage, it's for this. This is SOFIA, which stands for Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy. It's a massive flying telescope operated by NASA and the German space agency DLR. You might think that this is insanity uh, or crazy idea, and there was a time, especially as we were developing it, because we ran into so many problems, the door had to work just right, and it took years to get that door to be right. But once we got it working, we were getting results that can't be done any other way at this point. SOFIA has a lot in common with the Hubble Space Telescope. They're similar sizes. But where Hubble concentrates on visible and ultraviolet light, which scientists use to make incredible full-color images, SOFIA looks primarily at infrared light, which means it can be used to study things like the clouds of gas that will give birth to new stars. To get the best observations, the plane flies into the stratosphere and then opens its massive door so that the telescope can peer into space. We climbed on board to have a look around with Eric Becklin, Sophia's chief scientist. So we're inside a 747 and you don't really, when you get on as a passenger, you don't appreciate the full height of the plane and you're making full use of the, the it, full cylinder it, here. It, yeah, no, it is, it is huge. There are only 30 telescopes that are larger than Sophia, but we're flying in an aircraft. It's versatile too. New equipment can be fitted to make different kinds of observations. Because it's a flying telescope, it can be positioned nearly anywhere around the globe. It's been used to study the atmospheres of Pluto and Mars and to look into a black hole at the center of the galaxy. There are also stars that must be forming there. We don't know how, but we have the best picture because of this observatory of how that is happening. The telescope is a marvel of engineering with gyroscopes and precision bearings, keeping it locked on its target, even through turbulence. The thing I like about SOFIA is that uh, it brings together uh, astronomy, which I love and I do, and it brings together airplanes. Everybody is excited about airplanes, but doing them together is really uh, very special.